should be up. We need to confirm with Luis because they have we got the relays in and the fuses in yesterday. Getting a method to drain all the fluids because we have to do the deionized water flush on the fuel cell. What happened this morning is that's our daily stand-up. So we go over the major milestone for the day. What are we trying to accomplish with the truck? Then what are the tasks that need to happen to do those? Who's doing those tasks? We've got a fantastic technician team and fantastic engineering team who work really well together because we lean on each other. One, two, three, get it done! You need that practical mechanical application from the technicians, and then you need that theory from the engineers and how do you cross collaborate and then apply it to the vehicle. And if you do things right the first time, you don't have to go back. And that's what we're really focusing on is let's slow down and do it correctly each time so we make less mistakes. And each time we move, we don't take one step forward and two steps back. Stabilize after 300 seconds. So, so still 500 pulls still, right? Yeah. No, so not 1,000. I think we should be waiting even longer just to see for each one. What's interesting with fuel cell is the two elements, the basic elements of hydrogen and oxygen that is abundant on our planet. Imagine using that, combining that together to create some sort of a process where you have kinetic energy that makes a vehicle move and in return creating a no emissions vehicle is monumental. We can bring it down. Well, we got uh, we'll ABS. Sure we clear again. Well, eight inches. Eight ABS, right. Okay. clear? Uh, well. Got it. Good. Clear. We're putting out a globally changing vehicle. Fuel cell vehicles will be cleaner and it's new, it's a challenge, and no one else has done it. So the more you can think about it, the more progress you can make. And just there's a lot of great people here to work with and bounce ideas off of. As we progressively built, we're passing on and learning the information for everybody. Um, that way everybody gets the experience to work together and learn the truck. So it's not just two or three people that know how these trucks go together, how they work, how everything's set up. Yeah, I think we are not only grateful but fortunate that we've had the BEV program running simultaneously but also a year in advance. We're using a large portion of the technology that was based on the BEV platform and then just building up on that with the hydrogen fuel cells. So if it took us a certain amount of time to commission on the battery team, certainly it's almost cut in half for us to get to where we need to be. Morning guys. Six today is the, uh, the main focus, fuel cell six. We got to button up the fuel cell from yesterday install. We're gonna put the backpack on and then we're gonna put the cab on. Everybody has their assignments, they know what to do. Yep. Any questions? All right, bring it in. The team's really motivated to, to do what it takes to get these things done and built. You know, it's important we get them out to the public and uh, people to drive them and, and, and really see what these trucks can do. No one's done it, so I think that's the motivation there in the background, right? We'll go up. All right, move the wood out. Going up. All right, we want to watch corners now. Still clear? It's a very tight timeline. It's ambitious, and I think we're making really good progress of working towards that and achieving it. We're prioritizing by saying, what are the milestones we need to meet and what trucks need to go out when, which ones are critical to our suppliers to do testing and validation so that we can make sure we get all the software released to be road ready. And then the final product will be just that much better. The DNA of Nikola is that we are doing the work of giants. The hydrogen system, which gives me goosebumps thinking about it, is gonna be the stepping stone that will take us to that next change in our industry. And we're gonna show the world that we can do this. This is gonna be an absolute game changer. 
this is going to reinvent trucking as we know it today.